the mince meat that we've got um we've got some fruit in the fruit bowl that really could do being eaten so chris is going to grate an apple he's going to peel it and grate it and i'm going to peel and just chop up maybe two or three segments of this orange to add to it so it's a great way of using up a little bit of fruit right there we are then so that's the apple grated it's a whole apple here and um some of the the orange segments in here that have just all been sort of yeah, pulled apart so there isn't any piss or anything like that in there and they're in tiny little pieces once again in my mixing bowl on the scales i'm going to put in 375 grams of plain flour grams of stalk or you can use butter Uh, 125 grams of caster sugar. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Go. And one egg. So I'm just going to pop tea towel just to stop the flour from pushing out and doing it on the lowest setting. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of plain flour on my worktop, take the dough out of the mixer and then I'm going to wrap it up and just pop it into the fridge for half an hour. Here we go, you see? Let me move you back a bit. There you go, look. So let's take this off. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it all off here. Probably would have been a bit easier with the dough hook, but for the life of me, I can't remember what I've done with it. I've put it away somewhere because it's something I don't use very often. Hey ho. The rest of this dough out. Right, let's get this off. going to bring all that together, as I say, on a floured work surface or board. Then I'm going to rest it in the fridge for half an hour. I'm going to put some of the mincemeat into this bowl. And then I'm going to put in that the grated apple and the orange and mix that all together so we're give that a mix up so it will give it a slightly different taste as well all mixed up look right, I've put my oven on to preheat now and uh, get my pastry out. This has been chilling in the fridge. That's next door's puppy, if you can hear that noise. And I'm just gonna just gonna cut half of it for the moment. And no, a little bit of flour. If 
find is better if you don't work it too much. It's quite a delicate pastry, um, as in like the texture of it. And I'm just going to start to cut some of the little rounds. because I'm going to use that to do the lids. So that's going to come over here. There we go. I'm going to have quite a lot left to be able to put back into the jar and the other half of the pastry I'm going to freeze. So for Christmas I don't have to then prepare um, any pastry or mince because I think I'm going to have enough left actually to be able to do a batch. and a little tiny bit on the top before I put the, the little stars on the top. Just do a mince pie like that. So that's all the little stars on the top. And the rest of this milk here, I'm just going to crack an egg into it to glaze these with. Right, so I'm now just going to go back over the top of the, of the, um, the, the mince pies just to glaze them. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar onto each of them and I'm going to do it this way because I find this is the easiest way for me to do it at the moment. Literally pour a bit into the palm of my hand and then just like sort of sprinkle from a height like that. I'm going to pop these in the oven now. Uh, 200 degrees fan, 220 if not. 15 to 20 minutes. And now I'm going to just get tidied up, then I can put everything together. So, the rest of the pastry is going into a zip lock bag in the 
into the freezer. And then this I can just pull out when I want to make a batch of mince pies or tart or something. I'm going to pour the rest of this mince meat back into the jar and pop it in the fridge because I can use this next time I do a batch because this will be enough to do another dozen mince pies without having to buy any more this year. If I buy more, I use it and then you just pile on the old pounds, don't you? Right, mince pies all done. So I'm just going to give these on here a sprinkling of snow before I layer them up. There we go, like that. And then I'm going to layer them up a bit. And voila, mince pies are done. So I'm just going to move them over here for the moment. You may ask why there's one left, because that's the perks of being a chef. Of being the cook. Half Chris. Half Chris. There we go. It's that pastry. Mm. Mm? The prime pastry. Yeah. Mm. It's lovely, isn't it? It's so short and crumbly and lovely. Isn't it? And the mince has got on slightly fruitier. A little bit of a more citrusy. Yeah. That's the orange that's gone mm. in there. Right, there we are then, my loves. Everything is made. So here is my jam and fresh cream Victoria sandwich. You saw exactly how I made it. And my sweet pastry, really, really short, crumbly, mouth-in-the-mouth mince pies.